Mr. Palmer, you're now recognized for five minutes. I thank the chairman. I thank the witnesses for being here on a, a very difficult subject. I, um, earlier, when Ranking Member McMorse Rogers spoke, she brought up a couple of points that I thought were pertinent. One is uh, that reference back to the Declaration of Independence that, that we're all created equally and endowed with certain unalienable rights. You know, uh, when Jefferson wrote that and the committee approved it, they, they believed those things were self-evident. He didn't need science to, to prove it. Uh, and that not only were, were the existence of those rights self-evident, uh, it was also indicative that the rights didn't come from government. They came from outside of government. Uh, they even pre-exist government. And uh, the first right that they list is life. Why do you think they listed life first uh, ahead of liberty or pursuit of happiness? I think it's pretty evident, self-evident, that life is the prerequisite for all other rights. Without life, there is no right to privacy. There's no right to choice. There's no liberty. There's no pursuit of happiness. And the question is, uh, Dr. Francis, I want to show a, a poster. This is world-renowned. It's gone in all types of magazines. Gentlemen, we'll suspend, oh. and the staff will take down that picture. You take it down. In this committee, we admit documents or photographs on unanimous consent bases, and this has not I been... I accept the chair's ruling. Excuse me. This has not been shown to the majority, and it has not been agreed to, and there's no foundation of we will not be, allow it to be displayed, and we will not allow it to be submitted for the record. I'm That's not the surprised. That's the ruling of the chair. Gentlemen's recognized. I'm not surprised at all that you would want to show this photo of uh, an in utero surgery in which the child being operated on grasps the finger of the doctor uh, doing the surgery. That picture was taken in 1999. And, uh, and having not seen the photo, I cannot comment as to what it is. Okay. The gentleman decided not to share it with the majority. Okay. Uh, but uh, the individual in the photo is now 22 years old. His name is Sam. Um, uh, Dr. Fisher, um, obviously you believe that, uh, that, that a child in utero is a person, right? Uh, do you believe that, Dr. Resnick? You're a physician. Without seeing the photo, obviously. I think you're referring to fetuses. And so I just want to be really clear about terminology, embryo, fetus. Um, we as physicians refer... It depends on the stage of pregnancy using But when you words. can see a hand grasping a finger or, or um, you know it's I viable. Did not, I did not see your photograph. I know you didn't. And, uh, uh, and that's the whole point, is that you don't want to confront the fact that this is a person because a person has rights. I want to be really clear. Um, I, you know, a previous member referred to radical activists. I represent the American Medical Association. I represent a profession of almost a million physicians across this country. And they come together in an organization, in our organization, because we convene them. Dr. So Rizman, the policy you that I represent a million people who are not patient. uniformly in agreement with positions that your organization is taking. That's why you have other organizations being formed. And rightfully so, because you've gone down a path that, that thousands of, of physicians don't agree with you, and I know a lot of them. And the points that, that I'm trying to make is there, there are all kinds of consequences for uh, abortion. I mean, I, I, I know some people, some remarkable people who exist today because even though they're, they were conceived out of wedlock, uh, their mothers uh, gave birth to them. I can think of one right now who was enormously impactful and that would have been Winston Churchill. You know, there, there are other consequences for these decisions. And I, I, I understand where you're coming from. I mean, you're, you're, and, and where all of you are coming from and your politics on it. But it's not politics for a lot of people. It's a matter of life and death. It's a matter of, of the right to live, the right to 
liberty, the right to pursue happiness. And and you 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 want to turn this into something that, I mean, you, you want to accuse us of, of not putting the life of the mother ahead of, uh, in certain situations, you've mentioned the ectopic pregnancies, and I don't know anyone who agrees with the positions that you're, you're articulating. So I just find this uh, very disturbing. And, and, and you know, I, I realize that you don't want to see things, you don't want the American public to see things the way they really are. And that's the problem, and I yield back. May I answer that question? I think it was directed at me, Madam Chair. Uh, gentleman, may I? 